Well, hey guys, it's Catherine. Welcome to day two of our release week for Stamp of Approval, the Lovely Notes collection. I have shown you in my videos this week all of the products that are coming, so if you missed it, be sure to head over to my blog. I'll have all the links there for you. Yesterday was our first blog hop, today's our second, and tomorrow is gonna be Mm, our third <laughs> and each day we're giving away a free box so be sure to hop along and comment on all the blogs to increase your chances of winning and today I'm gonna use the lovely flowers and banners dies I'm gonna use the butterfly notes and I think I'll sneak in uh, a thing or two from lovely flowers Now for this card, I want to use the banner die, but I want it to be taller than what the die cut would cut out. So I'm going to place my plate so it's not meeting the top of that die. So when it goes through the big shot, it won't be sandwiched down at the top and it won't cut it. So I'm taking the banner die cut to my paper cutter and I'm lining that cut up with where my blade is going to go and I'm just going to trim. I'm going to do that on both sides and we will have a longer banner. <laughs> Next I'm going to add a greeting. You're amazingly amazing. This is getting very well loved so lots of my friends are going to get cards that say they're amazing. Next up we'll decorate this tag with some flittering, fluttering, flying butterflies. Starting with this giant pink one and then We'll grab Butter Bar, Butter Bar by Hero Arts. I love this butterfly that's flying away. Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. And then a little bit of Tide Pool. And finish it off on the bottom with Lime Green by Hero Arts. I'm going to do a quick little background with the lovely flowers. I'm going to use this fun little flower right here. I'm just going to stamp it with Versamark and then I'm going to do glitter embossing powder clear. It's a hologram. It's by WOW and it's just going to add a fun sparkle to the background. So basically you're just going to stamp these along the outside kind of like a little frame because this is going to go in the center. I don't need to stamp the entire thing because they won't all show. So I've stamped them all. I'm just adding some of that embossing glitter. So now I'm just zapping these with my heat tool real quick. I'm going to take a little bit of Tide Pool ink and I'm just going to sponge a little smidgen of a piece of paper and then I'm going to die cut it with this scallop border. I'm adding this right to the top of the scallop tag. Give it a little trim and then I've also added some mounting tape so we can pop it right up on the card front. Okay, do you guys ever do this? <laughs> you finish and you add something to your card and then you change your mind. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this banner, the chevron. So I just cut it part way down because I just want a little piece. I'm gonna have it sticking out from underneath this border. So I'm just going to peek it up under there and then add this back. And then I'm gonna wrap some baker's twine around it. Now there's a little leaf in the Lovely Flowers stamp set and the little die cut for it looks like a heart. So I'm just adding on three of those little hearts to the project to finish it off and give it a fun little embellishment. I'm using my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen to give some sparkle and shine to the hearts. So that's that for this card and I have another one that looks a lot like it. I just embellish it a little bit differently. I took that scallop and put it alongside the tag and then I used the lovely lattice on the background and did a tone on tone black embossing. Oh, there you go. So <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to hop along the blog hop and check out the Lovely Notes collection which goes on sale July 14th. But July 13th, the waitlist members get their first shot at it at 9 a.m. for Stamp Nation members and 10 a.m. for the rest of the list. Thanks for being here. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you soon.